This week, the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors drafted a letter to Governor Glenn Youngkin asking him to work with schools on the mask mandate. This comes after we first told you on Monday that the Fairfax County School District, along with six other Virginia school districts, filed a joint lawsuit against the governor over his executive order to make face coverings a choice. WDVM's Chrissy Matino has been following the dispute from the very beginning. She tells us more. The board voted eight to one to send Governor Glenn Youngkin a letter urging him to work with school districts to determine when it will be safe to make masks optional. I move that the board approve the attached letter to the governor encouraging him to develop metrics in coordination with local health directors and school districts to achieve our mutual goal of eliminating masks when it is safe to do so. Republican board member Supervisor Pat Harity shared why he believes maintaining masking could harm children's ability to learn. It's hard to learn language when you can't see a teacher's face. The kids can't interact and can't see what they're, how the words are being pronunciated. The move comes after Fairfax County filed a joint lawsuit with seven other school districts against Youngkin's order to make masks optional. There is no evidence to support changing our approach now. Our layered mitigation strategy has resulted in a low rate of in-school transmission. McKay says Fairfax County Schools COVID transmission rate has remained very low at 1.1%, according to an October 2020 report. But supervisors say it's not safe to take the mask off just yet. We all want to get to a point, hopefully relatively soon, where we don't have to be wearing these masks and where kids in our schools don't need to be wearing these masks, but that's not where we are right now. In Northern Virginia, Christine Matino, WDVM 25.